What's going on OmniBuddies, Mitch here, and today we are doing another OmniBuddy overview. What are we looking at today? We are looking at volume one, two, and three of Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chiang's Paper Girls. All right, so before we take a really close look at these and do some nice good shots of them, a uh, little bit about it is a completely collected in these three volumes, these oversized hardcovers, you can get them in you know, single issues if you really want, or you can uh, jump on the trade paperbacks, but they are very readily available in deluxe oversized hardcover, beautiful image format, uh, readily available right now. So you can get them super cheap. And if you wanna support this channel, uh, and support a great uh, up and coming shop. I shouldn't even say up and coming anymore because they are here. Organic price books. You can use code OmniBuddy for two bucks off every order. Or if you're ordering three or more volumes at the same time, you can use code OmniBuddy, ship it together and save 5% on your entire order right then and there. They'll all ship together. Saves money, saves the environment, does all those great things, but supports the channel, supports organic price books, which are, you know, they're, as of making this video, a year and a half-ish old, and they are killer with their prices, their communication, their packaging, everything. You will not find better service. You will not find better packaging. You may find slightly better uh, prices, but you use those codes and all that, uh, you're probably not gonna find be much better prices anywhere else on the internet. So hit them up. Anyways, that's it. Uh, let's take a look at these books. I just read them. I marathoned through the entire thing, uh, all three books. I don't think I took a break in between them. I might have taken a little break to read one other book in between. I don't, yeah. But it was like a really quick read between them. Uh, and I was absolutely loving these. They are uh, kind of this uh, Goonies adventure meets back to the future meets uh stranger things uh so it's it's kind of all those things mixed into one super cool read uh i'm gonna not, i'm not gonna talk about it anymore let's take a look at them all right so we have volumes one two and three of paper girls or it's referred to in this as book one book two and book three this is by brian k vaughn uh, cliff chiang matt wilson and jared k fletcher these are published by Image Comics and they retail for $34.99 USD. The entire Paper Girls saga is collected in these three books so you don't have to worry about getting anything else or getting them out of order. The story is for Paper Girls who are preteens, uh, early teens really, and they are, that's what you get, they're Paper Girls. And they, uh, it starts on Hell Day, which is the day after uh, Halloween because all the crazies are out on Halloween and they as young girls have to deal with crazy people while they're trying to deliver their newspapers in the early 80s uh, all over their blocks um, while all these uh, crazy teen teens are going around causing mayhem and chaos so that's where the story starts and pretty soon from there you run into some strange people that steal, steal a walkie-talkie from them and so they chase them down and they find themselves in a basement with a time machine and that is where the story really kicks off and kicks in and they go on all kinds of crazy adventures throughout time, back in time, forward in time, sideways in time. So you actually really do have to pay attention to what you're reading uh, so that you can keep track because with time travel and especially not just uh, linear time travel where they're just jumping forward in time and then they come back, they're jumping way forward in time, way back in time, slightly forward in time, slightly back, back to their time, all over the place. So you really do have to pay attention to the story, but there are some very cool plot points with different characters as they grow, they find out about things about themselves from the future and you know where they end up and how they're gonna deal with that and uh, very interesting stuff, very interesting take on 
the whole uh, premise of time travel. Loved it. The art is just awesome. It totally fits this Back to the Future, um, Goonies, and Stranger Things vibe with the color palettes and how each each era that they visit is just kind of a different uh, tonal uh, color palette. And uh, so you can kind of keep track of where people are by the shift in the color tones, which is very cool to see. Uh, the paneling is nothing too crazy, pretty straightforward, which is kind of nice because you're having to concentrate so much on the story and the times and all of that. The art by uh, Cliff Chang is just great. It fits us so perfect. These deep, heavy lines with a color palette, like I said before, that just shifts around depending on the era or time or the mood. Uh, the color by Matt Wilson really backs up Cliff Chang's lines. The lettering was great. This team was so solid. The ending was great. You're not left wondering all these questions or anything like that. The extras in these books are really fun too with some cover art and some process pieces and things like that. And then what I do love at the end of all of these is they have uh, about the creators and it's like a middle school yearbook kind of photos with you know their homeroom and activities and cultural society like all that kind of stuff and their favorites that kind of tells about them as a kid almost like you'd see in a yearbook the binding is great there was no major gutter loss or anything like that and they held together perfectly the entire time all in all this was a super cool read super fun i had no problem just marathoning this whole thing over the course of i think maybe a week i read all three of these and I really didn't get tired of them. It was super fun. I was always excited to sit down with one of these and just plow through like four, five, six issues. Super fun, highly recommend this story. All right, so that was a quick look at Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chiang. Uh, like I said, they are super fun, beautifully illustrated, really cool story very interesting uh very different on this whole like time travel 80s futuristic uh very cool kind of uh take on the whole genre so it's not some tired out uh you know ploy and story plot points or anything like that they do some really cool stuff with this story uh, very much encourage you to check it out, especially with the new Paper Girls series that's going to be hitting. Very excited to check that out. That's why I wanted to get this out. So uh, make sure to read these first. I think it's going to be, you know, as of the, making this video, they're not out yet. Uh, the show's not out yet, but uh, I think it's a great idea to always read the books first, uh, just because you get that experience and you kind of read them in your own tone of voice and getting that you know, how the characters act, you know, between the panels a little bit and how they s really speak. Uh, I like having that all in my head before I go and watch the movie or the show or anything like that. So uh, I'd encourage you to read the books first, but if you're coming here because you just watched the show or you watched season one and you're wanting to catch, the, catch up, definitely encourage you, pick these up, read them through. They are, uh, really fun, really good, uh, probably for, you know, uh, maybe junior high, probably high school and up is what I would say a little bit more conservatively, I'd say that, uh, just being cautious, but very fun. And, you know, it, like, it, like I said, if you watched the first part of Paper Girls, read, read volume one and jump right into two and three and then wait for the rest of the show to come out or finish the show, do whatever you're going to do. But very cool. They all just go right one from, they go right book one to book two to book three. There's no like real stopping point between other than you have to switch books. It's just one long story continuous straight through. So definitely it is definitely a story meant to just plow straight through. I don't know how I would have done reading these in single issues month to month. It would have been awful for me having to wait to find out each issue. But this is really cool, just reading it as one long story uh, where they just go and they are constantly running. You really get that uh, frantic, uh, crazy, chaotic feel 
uh, that the books really deliver on uh, when you're reading it in one go because uh, I would really forget a lot of the details if I was reading it monthly so or if I stopped between books for very long I would forget a lot but that's me with a terrible memory maybe you're different anyways that's it thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel thanks for being here remember to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications do all those things but again the most important thing to do is comment please comment not only does it help the whole youtube algorithm thing but it really is fun to interact and talk and chat with you all uh, so let me know in the comments what you're reading uh, if you have watched the show let me know what you think of the show if you've only read the books let me know what you think of the books uh, are you going if you haven't done either and you're here just to kind of get an idea of what what they are uh, let me know what your plan is. Are you going to read them first and watch the show? Or are you going to wait and watch the show and then read them after? Let me know in the comments. Love talking with you all. That's it. Take care. Stay cool.